with the papers. Now, you either love them or hate them. Getting a tattoo is still controversial in some societies. Now, in Japan, a young tattoo artist in Tokyo is fighting a court case that's seen as a litmus test for the country's cultural openness. Police say Taiki Masuda broke a law that only allows licensed healthcare providers to do such work and has to pay a $3,000 fine. While other tattoo artists who were raided paid up, Taiki-san refused and uh, now a campaign calling itself Save Tattooing has grown around the case as getting lots of attention. Uh, in a moment, I'll be talking to Hyoyi Yamamoto, who's making a film about the case. But first, let's take a look at a clip from the film. <laughs> これ well, joining me now from Tokyo is Hyoyi Yamamoto. Uh, he's uh, actually making a film uh, about uh, Taiki Masuda, but he wants to make it very clear that you're not a spokesperson uh, for uh, Taiki Masuda. But tell us a little bit about him. You've done this film uh, about him. Uh, why is he fighting back? Well, because he pretty much represents a younger generation of tattoo artists, and these are the people who are influ influ influenced by not only the traditional Japanese tattoo culture, but also very much a Western culture. So this is case is pretty much, uh, you know, uh, it's a younger generation versus old establishment. That's what the case is about. All right. And in terms of old establishment, we know that tattooing is seen to be somewhat taboo in Japan because it's always been associated with the Japanese mafia or the Yakuza. So how is that attitude now starting to change? Uh, I wouldn't say it's starting to change because only because uh, government is thinking about 2020 Olympics, so they're actually encouraging a lot of commercial establishments to open up because a lot of the, these places where you have to expose your skin, like a bathhouse, beaches, uh, hot springs, they're pretty much, most of them have pretty much have uh, signs up says if you have tattoos, you can't get in. So they're encouraging to open up. But on the other hand, there's very much strong prejudice and sort of stigma attached to the tattooing in general in Japan. So it's not, I wouldn't say it's happening too fast. Right. Uh, now, as you're saying, they want to be able to open up ahead of the Olympics uh, in, in 2020. So is there something of a, a double standard at the moment with uh, foreigners allowed to have tattoos uh, versus Japanese? Absolutely. I mean, this is not just happened just now. Historically, it's been like this for uh, for for hundreds hundreds of years. Back in the uh, Meiji era, which was uh, uh, at the time the tattoo was strictly forbidden, but for foreigners it was okay for come in to receive tattoos. So some tattoo artists, Japanese tattoo artists, were allowed to give tattoos to foreigners, but not Japanese. And actually, King George actually got tattooed. Uh, I believe around this time, so it, it's uh, it's it's just it didn't just happen out of the blue. It's just been happening from hundreds of years. All right, here you Yamamoto, there, an independent filmmaker, uh, making a film about that case. Thank you so much for joining us from Tokyo.